Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Chris and Donna Play. I'm Chris. I'm Anna Donna. And today we're not doing a Let's Play. Today we are doing Show and Tell. Um, we have been doing, um, if you've been following, we've been doing uh, NES Classic playthroughs. And um, we have, actually, we have been wanting to play the two-player play, uh, playthroughs because you know, Nintendo wasn't gracious enough to supply us with a second controller. To play all these two-player games, they were like, hey, let's give these guys one controller, but let's throw a whole bunch of games on there that you can play with two players. Exactly. Mm, okay. So, yes, of course, they sell the classic controller, but obviously it is sold out just like everything else having to do with the classic. Except for this one. So, while it's not a um, NES classic controller, it is uh, very much resembles one. And it's and, compatible. And, and, it's, and it's awesome because, yeah, check it out. It's even in a nice box, right? It's so, um, a couple of cool things about this controller. One, uh, it works for the NES Classic and the Wii U. So, you can also play the Classic games on the Wii U from the store, which is cool. Oh, sure. And it's got a nine foot cable, which is something that mm -hmm. the uh, NES Classic severely lacks. Uh, it's like two feet, I maybe. I think it might be three feet, but that's, that's pushing it. Yeah. It. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, I would say two and a half feet, maybe. It's like, yeah, because it's, it's like barely as long as my leg, and I'm yeah. small. So, um, yeah, that's that's a very, very short cord. Mm -hmm. uh, not liking that one. So, uh, anyway, yeah, the controller's awesome, but oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the cord's too damn short. Way too short. Uh, so, anyways. No, acceptable. Yeah, this. Um, another cool thing this comes with, apparently, is a uh, book. Cheat codes. Um, so we're going to have a look at that. Yeah, bonus. Cheat book. Bonus, bonus. Included, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so cool they had to name it twice. The controller apparently has a turbo button where you can select between A and B. So you can have like rapid fire just by holding down the turbo button. That's fucking cool. It's for pretty that, awesome. Yes. So we're going to have to have a look at that. Oh, and it's got another extra button called the AB button, which pushes both A and B buttons at the same time. I was going to say that's a lot of buttons, but yes. then I'm looking at the PlayStation 2 controller. <laughs> so, let's have a look at this thing. See what we've got in here. Exciting. Unboxing video. Unboxing, boxing, boxing. <laughs> this means that we get to play two-player. I'm so excited. All right, yeah, because we got Dr. Mario coming up. Oh, now. my God, yes. So, we yes. get to battle. All right, so, uh, box is empty now. <laughs> Throw that <laughs> shit. Here is the uh, controller. Uh, looks very much like the NES Classic. You want to unplug that? Yes. Just want to do a quick comparison. So, I paid $14 for this controller at Walmart. Uh, they still have some in stock on their website. Last time I checked, they had still four of them. Um, and the price has dropped to $11. So, oh, yeah, I should have waited a day. So they're the same height. They're the same width. And I'm just going to show this up here. The one on my right. Is the original. Yep, that's the original. <laughs> this is the um, imposter. But <laughs> as you can tell, the uh, the colors are a little off. This yes. one's lighter. Um, the, uh, the graphics aren't as nice. Uh, this has got more of a matte. This is... The other one, this one's kind of more shiny. These buttons are too damn loud. I don't like them. See, these these, these are way different. These, like, spring right back. These are, like, these are almost harder to press. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this divot is further inward on the classic controller um, than on this one. The D-pad is most definitely a little different. It's raised on the left one. Yeah, like, way Incredibly. higher. Incredibly. Um, but, yeah, cord. Oh. Long cord. Look at that shit. Um, so I can throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, feel the difference between the buttons. Feel the difference between the buttons. Oh wow, no, that is like. Yes. And then, the start button on the left controller is actually easier to press. Um. And then there's this. Uh, kind of like the D-pad more too. Really cool cheat code book. 
Um, I like how this is matte on the D-pad. Yes, no, I know, right? Everything else is shiny. Yeah. And 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 this is the only shiny thing on here. And it's opposite. For the I Actually, just don't. Yeah, the buttons are shiny here, and they're matte on this controller. Yeah, I kind of like that because I have more grip. But then I like the red and the different. It, 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 yeah, gotta um, go original. Something that I was gonna mention too when we were doing the uh, NES Classic unboxing, and I totally forgot, was that uh, in case you're having a hard time getting an NES Classic, which you most likely are, mm -hmm. um, Amazon does sell the Famicom Mini which is uh, imported from Japan. It is the Jap Japan version of the NES. Japan. So they, um, evidently they made uh, the same uh, retro console for the Famicom as they did for the NES. And huh. there's a picture of it right here in this cheat code book. So um, if you go on Amazon, you can get it for like 90 something dollars. Um, even has prime shipping. So, oh, shit. Yep, two days. Um, the only downside is is that all the games are going to be in Japanese, of course. So, uh, if you've seen any of our playthroughs of our 150 and one NES cartridge, uh, you will know what I'm talking about. And it makes some games actually completely unplayable. Um, I mean, obviously, Bubble Bubble isn't going to matter. Uh, Castlevania 1, probably not. Castlevania 2, pretty much yes, because mm -hmm. you're going to have to read everything these guys are writing. Yes. Donkey Kong, no, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike. None of these are going to matter. Um, maybe Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. uh, go, uh, Ghosts and Ghost Goblins? Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, Gradius, Gradius, no. no. Um, let's see what Ice else they have. Kirby's, Kirby's Adventure, Adventure, Mario Brothers. Yeah. Mega Man 2. Oh, now that's that's a nice little page it. here for cheat codes. Uh, let's see, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Punch Out, uh, Star Tropics. Never played this game. Mm -mm. Super C. Never heard of it. Super Mario Brothers. Oh, they have their own page. And apparently they give you the secret to the warp zone, which... Um, if you've seen it. I don't know, that's kind of a weak cheat. I think yeah. there could be better ones, but... You think so? I mean, these are the only two, I guess, that you can do. Um, I mean, you could have a whole book dedicated to Super Mario. It tells you which pipes you can go down and where all the hidden one-ups are and all the hidden stars and the bricks and stuff like that. So this this is a, a kind of cheaped out on that chris could write it although in super mario 3 they give you a list of all the end cards which is really cool the end cards the end cards you know how in super mario when we were playing you flip the cards over oh yeah yeah well they had this oh, they started this and they give you yeah. all the patterns so you just start with a different pattern and you look at see which one you picked and right. then you just pick all the other cards oh my god nice that's fucking cool and we've got a super bowl game Hmm. Oh, god damn it. Uh, then we've got Zelda, and of course Zelda 2, and... More shit in oh, French! Here's, here's a close-up of the, uh, the Famicom, the mini fan. They call it the Famicom Mini. And you know what Famicom stands for? Hmm? Famicom. No. Family computer. I was gonna say family, but then... Family computer. Famicom. Oh. Huh. Yes. That's cool. And uh, look, they even have like little controller holders. Oh, on I the see side. that. Cool is that, huh? Family computer. Wow. Yeah. What a difference Bing. between the Japan console and the uh, in the US in, console. In, yeah, America. It's bigger. Yeah, we we, we got to make it bigger. And it's bland as shit. <laughs> if it's not big, then uh, nobody's gonna want it. Yeah, although it does have a nifty little beep, but a little door on top. Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever opened up an NES before, but there's so much space in there. Really? Yep. Um, so it's pretty much just a big hollow box with some shit in it? There's a lot of hollowness inside of there. Really? It's hollow as my heart. Oh, <laughs> That was the saddest thing ever. Oh my god. Alright, so, oh uh, yeah, we'll just put the plastic back in here. We may keep this little cheat book out. Just to kind of refer to it and see how good these actually are. So, if you guys want to join us for a more in-depth review on this freaking controller, uh, we are going to actually play the next game in our list is Dr. Mario, uh, which will be on tomorrow's episode. And uh, 
Yeah, that's the first time we'll be using the second player controller. Diddies. So we'll be, uh, you know, enjoying that. So uh, you guys should check that out, right? Yes. I'm excited. That is a fact. Yes. Um, check it out. Anyways, if you like the video, give us a uh, thumbs up. Um, comments go down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell. Ding. Ding. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have all the links for all this stuff down in the uh, description section in case you uh, want to pick something up. Um, and other than that, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.